Yo, yo, what is up guys and welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. Today I'm going to be talking about Xing Shu. Uh, I'm just going to be going over potential weapons, artifacts, and uh, going to be having some gameplay at the end of the video as well. Uh, note that my Xing Shu is pretty bad right now, so not an official showcase, but just to give you an idea of what he can do with what he currently has. Uh, but yeah, that is about it. Let's get right in the video. Alright, first let's take a look at his stats. He's currently running around 40 Elemental Mastery. That's really bad for a unit like Jinghu, so you definitely want to do at least 100, I guess. Uh, for critical rate, 50%, 130% critical damage. Pretty good, you want to have at least 200% energy recharge. So, uh, only 150 right now. I'm doing 81% Hydro damage and around 1500 attack. All right, and for the swords, I am currently using the Festering Desire. Now, this is not his best in slot, or so I don't think, because it does boost his elemental skill damage. You want something that focuses more on getting his ultimate, aka the Sacrificial Sword. If uh, this skill right here, or passive, does proc, you can actually do two E's, and you can instantly get your elemental burst, and uh, you can just have it more uh, more uptime on it. With this one, it just boosts your damage, which is nice, but it's not it's not his main uh, niche on uh, Xing Shu. Another thing you can have is a Favoni Sword. Unfortunately, I did discard mine somehow. I have no idea, but I did lose my sword, and I don't have it anymore, but um, I will show it up on the screen. It basically just gives elemental particles. I'm pretty sure every time you critical hit, and uh, that will help you get your ultimate a lot faster, so that's also good. But like I said, Sacrificial Sword is probably going to be the way to go. Alright, as for the artifacts, you guys can probably guess what I'm about to say. Uh, you can do a 4-piece Noblesse, that's what pretty much everybody does with uh, Xing Shu. Unless you are using him with another character like Bennett, who does use a 4-piece Noblesse. Or I'm pretty sure Mona does it, uses it too, I don't use her so I have no idea. But uh, yeah, for me, I am going to be using 2-piece Hydro, 2-piece Noblesse for that little extra damage. And I do have a Bennett on the team, so that's another reason. What you mainly want to prioritize is uh, Critical Rate, Critical Damage, Energy Recharge, Elemental Mastery. And if you care about your Xing Shu healing at all, you do want to go for HP. And uh, Hydro Damage on the Cup is very important as well. I am experimenting with putting Energy Recharge on my watch. Since when you do ascend Xing Shu, you do get attack as your ascension. So maybe he doesn't lose that much attack. I'll still have to test that, but definitely consider doing energy recharge on his watch. Uh, but make sure you still have more than 1500-ish attack. That's a good spot to be. Uh, if you can get it to 2000, that is also very good, but you don't really want to go more than that. Alright, uh, for constellations, mine is level 0. But uh, C1 is nice, just adds the extra sword, pretty simple. And um, for this level 2, it just it decreases his hydro resistance and also increases the duration. That's very cool as well, and uh, this is for your ultimate. Uh, for this one, just uh, levels up your ultimate. Or is that your ultimate? I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, Guha Rain Cutter. Okay, so your ultimate by 3, that's actually huge. And for this one, it's just going to increase your E ability when you use your ultimate. So that's actually a huge boost if you do have a C4, you just pop your Q and then pop your E right after to build some energy recharge and do some massive damage. And uh, for this one over here, so just increases your E ability. And for this one, uh, it just increases your damage and uh, gives you energy recharge as well. So very good overall. Uh, let me pull up some gameplay with uh, the gear I have as of now. Alright, just to test some damage numbers with Xing Shu. Gonna take him to floor 10 in Abyss alone and then we'll uh, see how he does in a normal team composition. Does about 20k ish. His ultimate? I mean, your easy ability? It's a lot more than I was expecting, not gonna lie. Uh, his ultimate does around s 3 to 6k criticals. It's a huge uh, barrier difference, but I guess that's fine. Alright, so my Shing Shu does not have that much energy recharge. 
So uh, I will be using. I will have to get two E abilities to get his uh, ultimate. So yeah, uh, same damage, nothing going on too crazy. So 5k criticals, uh, averaging from 2.7 to 6k. I assume that just stability works, some hits just hit harder than others. Uh, I don't think it has anything to do with my set in particular. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and go jump into some actual uh, fights. Alright, so we're in the Hydro Domain. Now this isn't probably isn't the best place to showcase something like Shingshu just because everybody is cryo but uh, I don't know a lot of people are doing this right now and I do just wanna kinda do it just to show people an example It doesn't really matter what character you have or how strong they are, as long as you attack, it will do his uh, water, like his hydro damage. Should be getting my ultimate here, I believe. So now it's just gonna keep procking the vapor. Oh, I did the wrong move. It's gonna keep procking vaporize now every time you hit. Actually, I think vaporize is best for the build I have right now because I uh, I don't think vaporize really cares about elemental mastery. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it just doubles your damage. Pretty sure. Alright, cool. Now if you guys didn't know, if you are using the Festering Desire in Dragon Spine, it is going to do an absurd amount of damage. Like four, like 8k just from in, just like one uh, hit from the ultimate. It's really fun to use if you guys are going to go for this build. Uh, if you guys just want to do a normal build, you know, it still works everywhere else. I don't think this is even good actually gonna still work after the event is done but i still just wanted to show in the video in case uh somebody didn't know about it all right so team comp swiss shing shu i don't necessarily have like an optimal team uh you basically just want to run him with any team that you want more elemental reactions with personally i run him most with the luke for the mel combo uh once he gets a little more elemental mastery i will run him with Keqing as well I've seen a lot of people run him with a Shongyun uh, or a Kaya build with the new Cryo set because that set, if you do free somebody, you actually uh, gain like 20 or 30% more critical rate. And uh, so you basically just pop Shingshu's ultimate and then you do uh, your Kaya freeze or your Shongyun freeze and you get like 80% critical rate or something insane. But you can also do something like that. Uh, but honestly, you can just throw him on any team and he'll be okay. Uh, definitely, uh, Showcase will be coming out for him as soon as I can get some decent artifacts. Also have some talents to level up as well. But uh, with that being said, that is going to be the end of the uh, Shingshu guide. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you do press like. And also, if you guys do want to see more Genshin Impact related content, make sure you sub to the channel. But that is going to be it. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.